Are you saying that you can heal my back pain with this massage of yours? Su Yang calmly nodded at her question. Don't listen to him. He is only trying to take advantage of you. Yeah. Who knows what he'll do to you once to follow him. Do you have any idea who he is? The young lady looked at the group of disciples and frowned. And who are you? We are. Before the disciples can even introduce themselves, Su Yang spoke. I can heal you, but only if you follow my conditions. Conditions? Are you in the position to ask for conditions? I know that you have been standing here for many hours without a single customer. If I leave now, then who knows when your next customer may come, if it ever happens. After a moment of silence, Su Yang nodded and said calmly, Then, for having enough courage to stand before me, I shall part you with a gift. Your back pain dot dot dot, don't underestimate it, and go find a doctor to treat it quickly, before you turn into a cripple, a cripple. WW, what do you mean by that? The young lady began panicking after hearing his words, but that was not what Su Yang had intended. If you think that your back pain was caused by bad positioning during your cultivation, then you can't be more wrong. Then what was the cause? The young lady began sweating profusely after Su Yan became silent for more than a few seconds. I, I will do it. I will accept your conditions. The young lady gave up after a few more seconds of silence. Su Yang nodded and said, Condition 1, the session will only last for 10 minutes. No more, no less. Condition 2, you must share your experience after the massage with 10 people. Condition 3, you are only allowed to come back one month after your last massage session. If you refuse to any of these conditions, then you may turn around and walk away. If you fail to fulfill the second and third condition after the massage, then you can forget about coming back ever again. That, that's it. The young lady thought Su Yang had something far more serious in mind. But such easy conditions, who wouldn't accept? PFT? One month? It'd be a miracle. If you have another customer after her today, the disciples laughed. Do you accept? I accept. Good. Then follow me. Su Yang rolled up his sign and carried it on his back as he began leading the young lady back to his living quarters. Ah, she is really going to follow him? Should we stop her? Let her be. She can only blame herself later for trusting someone like Su Yang. The disciples watched as Su Yang and the young girl disappear into the distance. None of the dozens of people there try to stop her because they are all intrigued in what will happen when she returns. This is your living quarters. We are doing it here. Then would you rather do it outside? Su Young asked her with a slight smile. The young lady looked around with her imaginations running wild, causing her to blush. Su Young didn't wait for her to answer and walked into the house. Ah, wait up. After entering the dead silent house, Su Young went straight into his room and the young lady followed with caution. I swear to the heavens that if you do anything funny to me, you will pay for it with your life. You are too young to be my taste, little girl. Lit, little girl, you look just about as old as me. Su Yang shrugged at her reply. Lay down on the bed with your back facing the ceiling. The young lady stood there silently, her gaze staring at him with intensively. You can keep your clothes on. After hearing his words, the young lady sighed in relief and laid herself on the bed. Su Yang cracked his knuckles and stretched around for a few moments before he said, Your ten minutes begins now. Try not to lose consciousness. Hey, what do you mean by a... Uh? The young lady suddenly let out an unexpected moan of pleasure that caused Su Yang's ears to tingle with delight. W.H., what did you just do? Ah, uh, stop wiggling around like a worm. You're making this more difficult for me. Ah, uh, the sense of pleasure on her back overwhelmed the young lady's sense of hearing making her feel as though she was in another world, in heaven. She couldn't understand what she was feeling, but it was not a sense of feeling that could be made with the hands of a human, almost as though she was feeling the hands of a god. Time passed by quickly, but within the young lady's world, it felt almost like an eternity. And suddenly, the sense of pleasure ended. It was too sudden, almost feeling like it was the end of the world. Hey, huh, why did you stop? The young lady turned to look at Su Yang, and on her red face was a sensual expression, one that begged for more. Your ten minutes is over, Su Yang said in a calm tone. But the pain in your back should have subdued by now, but reduce the time you spent to cultivate her by half for the next month for it to be permanent. Please, ten, no, just five more minutes. I will pay you any amount. The young lady pleaded Su Yang to extend the service, but Su Yang only shook his head. 
I cannot accept anything from you, as I have already stated that my first three customers will be free of charge. You can come back next month, dot dot dot, after you spread your experience here to ten people. The young lady bit her lips in frustration, reluctantly nodding a few seconds later. I look forward to your next visit. Uh, Zhou Zhuan, the young lady said, my name is Zhou Zhuan. I am called Su Yang. He smiled at her as he watched her exit the front door, her legs looking unstable as she walked, like a drunk walking home after spending a whole night drinking.